in what order I want to go because there are a couple things I want to do real quick. I'm going to ask her to come up and uh, sit in this beautiful chair here. And we're going to ask our very own mother, Marlene Howard, to come up here. And we're going to help her. Actually, um, because I know after the presentation, she's going to want to have some remarks. But I simply <laughs> want to find out from our uh, age people wisdom that we have in the house, I want to ask you all a question. Down through the years, Mother Howard has had family members that have been members here at True Deliverance. And I want to find out from our age people wisdom, how many of her family members do you think have been members here at True Deliverance down through the years. I would like for you to give me a number if you can. Uh, Mother uh, Franklin gave me her number earlier. I was creeping around through the service. And she gave me her number. Oh, she gave me, I was saying, what's the number? How many names she had? Uh, Mother Benson, what's your number? How many family members do you think have been here? <laughs> I just want to see who's going to give me the highest number. Don't forget that, Mother. But, but <laughs> let, me, just let, me, let me have your number. How many do you think? How many of her family members have been members here? Oh, members? Oh, not members. Members. About seven. Let's say eight. Mother says eight. Who else? Who you think? Now Shirley says nine. How many you say? Seven. Seven. Seven, nine, eight. Mother Franklin um, has 12 on her list. Any more of our people of wisdom here? Uh, uh, Sister Merck back there. How many How many of them you have? Four. Four. That we can remember going back. Montala, you have a number? Six. Montala says six. Seven. All right. How many you have? She said eight. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's the age. Excuse me, the description of age women, but <laughs> I'm going to say what I can remember is six. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We only meant to include the age people. <laughs> <laughs> Correct them, Trustee. How many of you have been here for a long time? All right. I, uh, I wanted to come up with this activity because I was thinking Mother Howard and, uh, you know, different ways how to honor you. And I thought that would be nice and we just thought back and went back. And I started thinking in my mind of your family members that came here. And I remember all the way back to Mother Coleman. Anybody remember Mother Coleman on your list when you were thinking back? Think about 
Brown Mother Coleman is Sister Evelyn sung in the choir with us. So yeah, I went back to taste. <laughs> but I only had 11. And Sister Shirley. Let me tell you what I had on my list. I had Mother Coleman, Sister Evelyn, uh, Brother Derek and Maria, and their three children, Dwayne, Ashley, and Ike. I had uh, Carl, and her son, and her grandson. Okay, I couldn't remember the grandchildren, and um, I had them, and then I had Sister Shirley, her husband, and um, I couldn't remember. Anybody else remember somebody I missed? Oh. Oh. and remembering how many of her family members that we remember here be a member of but Of course, Mother Vincent no more so than I, who was a member. But those are the family members that I remember. Amen. Amen. And we're going to take this time to present to Mother Howard. Thank you, Alicia. Alicia, go ahead. We're going to take this time to present to Mother Howard this write-up, this plaque that we do, you know, uh, every third quarter we honor our people wisdom on our senior website. And so for this quarter, Mother Howard, her, her write-up will be posted on the website. All right? So we're going to read this to you all in her hearing. Amen. And we're going to present this to her. It said, Mother Marlene Howard, honoring our age people wisdom, November 2015. We are honoring Mother Marlene Howard for her years of dedicated and continued service to the Treaty Living Church of God Ministry. Mother Marlene Howard, I did that because we teased Mother Howard. Mother Howard gave us so much stuff. We didn't think about <laughs> Mother Marlene Howard has been a member of Treaty Living Church of God Ministries headquarters since 1982. She progressed to work in the prayer line and altar call during church services. In the late 1980s, Mother Howard worked as a missionary and traveled abroad to Israel and Jordan. She was baptized in the Jordan River. Amen. I learned that about Mother Howard. I didn't know that. She was baptized in the Jordan River <laughs> on a mission trip with the late Apostle Albert Vincent Sr. and Mother... Shh, I'm sorry. Alva Benson Sr. and Apostle Robert, Robert Howard, who uh, uh, appointed her as an honor bearer to Mother Claire Benson. I didn't know that either. Did y'all know that? Amen. Amen. We heard some stuff. During the late 1980s, early 1990s, she worked as pastor's aide to the late Apostle Alva Benson Sr. She is a prayer warrior that was once the prayer tower supervisor for the 24-hour prayer tower. Mother Howard worked on the prayer tower anniversary and Founders Week celebrations during this time period. In the late 1990s, Mother Howard became an evangelist within the ministry under the leadership of the late Apostle Albert Vincent Sr. and Mother Claire Benson. During this period, Mother Howard worked in the food bank alongside Mother Claire Benson distributing Thanksgiving baskets. And on just this year, 2015 General Assembly, Mother Howard was licensed church mother here at the True Deliverance Church of God Ministry. Please join us as we pray God for the ministry of Mother Marlene Howard. Thank God for her, actually, with the prayer time. And this time, we will present this here. This 
specific appreciation to Brother Marlin Howard. Yes, she is the unofficial church on our people with and I'd like to make mention we do have a senior website web page now where we have our quarterly word of wisdom posted on that page as well as you can see Mother Howard's write up and today we will continue our scroll presentation we will be giving our scrolls and the scrolls will contain that word of wisdom from our very own general overseer Mother Clarence. Amen. At this time we will now um, Mother Howell to give some remarks if she would like to do so. Well, I won't be blind, praise the Lord. I just thank God for this moment. And yes, I'm over joy, praise God. But I want my aunt to stand up because I'm going to stand up um, one more time. Amen. I want to give her honor today because if it had not been for her, I would not be here. It's an awesome to be being here today. And, and I told her about the dream I had about my mother. And she said to me, you had a dream. And she said, it was about my mother because God showed me he was going to take her. And I said, Lord, don't take her. And I called myself and she said, God showed you something. I don't know when she said, get your house in order or you have to step up or whatever. But I came running to this church, praise God. But before I ran to this church, I had a vision. I had this vision about a heavyset man with a white suit. And also a lady that was behind me with a white robe. And I said, I don't normally dream about big people, you know. But when Isaiah sent me here, this is what I saw. Apostle Vincent and Mother Vincent behind. Yeah. And they were holding out their hand towards me. And I ran into this ministry, praise God. And I've been here ever since, praise God. And I don't think I'm going anywhere anytime soon. I don't I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care whatever the x-ray said. But I thank God because I know what God says. He said, He is the Lord thy God and healeth thee. And I thank God for his healing power right now. I thank you because you know what? Through all my years of being here, I've seen people come and go. But God knows when they come and they go, they need to come back. Because they can't find no other place and they can be delivered, really delivered, thank God. And I thank God for Mother Vincent, praise God for, I was supposed to be her arm bearer, but I think, I don't know who's bearing who arm, but every now and <laughs> We talk every day and we pray every day and I thank God for that. And I do thank God for Bishop Vincent and co pastor Vincent because they are really a light in this church, praise God. And they are out here trying to bring wind so to the kingdom, praise God. And I thank God for that. Thank God for my son Derek that came today. Thank God for um, the I don't know if they can say something. Or is my time? Okay. There would you like to say something? You can come up. You, you ain't straight. Don't you look back today. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Wow. 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 I don't know if I can top what's already been said, but uh, I think you're right. When you come here, you get delivered, and you always come back easier to you. For a little while, you always find your way back to Tribune and took the run. I uh, think back, step back for a minute and, and remember one day when my uncle, which is her brother, she had, you know, Uncle Robert. So she had a tour. It was my mother, my Aunt Shirley, my Uncle Ralph and my Uncle Robert. So, Robert was the last one. It was my mom's, and it was Uncle Robert. It was 
pretty much the leaders of our family. And when my uncle passed away, Uncle Robert, I cried tears. I cried and it really hurt me. And but there's life, there's death. We have to accept that as Christians. And but what I was crying for was because all of her brothers and sisters had left her here by herself. And I'm like, I had to look at myself. My uncle was in the arts of God. I only have this wonderful woman left in my life. I pray to God that the Lord would heal her body repair her knees and limbs and bring her back to her youth as she once had it before. Amen? Amen. So, she's been the light of our lives for 52 years of my life. I'm 52. <laughs> Amen? I live to be 52. Because she prayed about our entire family. And this church blessed our family through my lifespan of 52 years. And let's say we hopefully get to 100. I want to say I love you, Mom. Keep up the great work. Eat healthy food. You used to eat those pig feet. And she used to, at one side we went to a restaurant down the street here after church. And uh, we sat down at the table and she ordered pig feet and, and she put the bones on top of the table after she sucked all the gristle off of it. And she just laid them up on the table. I said, Mom, wait a minute. We, 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 don't, we, don't, we ain't put no bones on no table. Just leave it here while everybody else eating like that. That just don't look good. So I don't think she do that anymore. <laughs> but I want to have the church to pray for my mother's strength and her recovery from her diabetes. And you know, there is a cure for diabetes. Amen? Amen. Um, thank you. I'll be quick. Uh, I just want to say thank you. I remember uh, sleeping in the prayer tower, and me and my brother, we still talk about that. Uh, um, and it's something that has kept us all these years. It's given us insight to a lot of different things, and um, I'm thankful for this place. And I'm thankful that uh, you can always come back. And I love you, Grandma. And, and my dad was right, man. She she prayed for every single person. She called me, uh, the grandchildren. What's their name? She said, I gotta pray for this. <laughs> you know? So thank you, Grandma.
And all I can say, I thank the Lord, the service that she had gave, and I thank you all for, um, for accepting her, and I bless you, you know, everything that's been inspired today. I just thank everyone, and God bless you. We're here from Bishop and Co-Pastor. Amen. 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 I just bless the Lord for uh, Mother Howard. Amen. She's truly a blessing. Um, I can get, truly remember back in the day for possible. Just work, work, work. And as much as she can, still do. Amen. I don't uh, remember hearing Sister Howard about the, um, the trips to New York. Amen. <laughs> Mother Howard can find a bargain. We <laughs> should go over there on that bus to New York to these big old shopping places and we were shocked to be dropped. Hey, I love Mother Howard. Back in those days, I was shocked. Hey, Mother Howard knew how to shop. And I thank God for um, Sister Howard. She watched me grow up in this church and she's prayed for me. Amen. For many, many years. Amen. I can remember way back when they had their children and just having to wear the same suit over and over and over again. Uh, Mother Howard brought me my first white custom made suit. Hey, and I was able to fit it again, so I wore the general suit. That was the suit. Mother Howard got me, so I remember that. So I bless, bless the Lord for you, and I love you, and I'm so glad you're still with the ministry. Amen. God bless. Praise the Lord, Sister Howard. Truly, truly a blessing. And I thank God, praise God, when we celebrate our senior, because it's always remind me of the ham hawk and the collard greens. It, it don't taste well unless you put that smoked turkey neck in it. And, and this is and this is what this is what the seniors, the people of wisdom, provide to this ministry. And in Sister Howard, she was able to work with the uh, the Father's Week program, and, and, and last year was a blessing. Praise God! But I said I, I wanted I wanted to have that taste of that some of that uh, southern meal in it. Fried chicken. <laughs> but anyway, it was a blessing. And that, and that Sister Howard, she will uh, work with Paula and the committee. Praise God. They can have some of that some of that old flavor in there also. Praise God. We just, we just thank God. Praise God. We can go a long time. We can talk about many, 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 many things. Praise God. But we just thank God for your faithfulness and your commitment to the ministry, to the ministry that God has placed in you. Praise God, and we can be honored at today. This is what this is all about. And, and, and I know that the time is going, praise God, but every once in a while, you gotta tear it just a moment. Praise God, you gotta just tear it because, it, you know, we could be in a home going service and then we'll be sitting and having people on the top of the wall coming to acknowledge this. But now we're taking a moment, praise God, to reflect on the glory where she can, she can hear all these things, praise God, in the history. Praise God, it is truly, truly a blessing in that the labor, praise God, and even, and she, she can talk. She, she talk her mind, too. She, she will talk her mind. We thank God for that. It is in love. And praise God, praise God. So we, we just thank God for the flavor that, that she brings to this, to this ministry to, to bring forth the, the style of praise God and also along with the, the newness of life. And ability to pray. She can pray. She's an intercessor. She can pray a prayer to her. Amen. And that, that is such a blessing, praise God. And we honor that all of today. And today, praise God, what we want to do, we want to pray for her. Amen. We want to pray for her. We want to put the anointing on her that we come forth. Amen. We want to, uh, Mother Vincent, you will come. Amen. Praise God. We want to just anoint you real, real good. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, praise God. The God is good and He's worthy. Praise God. And, and, and we're gonna make sure all that you will just stand with us. And I believe in, in, in the power of prayer. God is also that He's worthy to be praised. Amen. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. We pray, God, for freshness anointing upon every member of your body. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God is good. He simply is worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God for all of your labor of love. Praise His holy name that you have committed to this house and to the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God said He has not forgot your labor of love. 
Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, if it was not so in the scriptures, I could not pray this prayer. Lord, but you said that Moses, even in his old age, had youthism, Lord, in his body, Lord. We pray right now, Lord, praise God, that you would touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Touch every joint in her body, Lord, every blood seal that flows through her veins. Touch her heart, Lord, hallelujah, blessed be the name of the Lord. We thank you right now, Lord. Lord, even as your message has proclaimed even on today, Lord, those that have leprosy, Lord, that, that you sought, they cried out to you, you sought and you healed them. But Lord, this is one that they came back to worship you. Worship you, Lord, in her life. Worship you by giving. Worship you by honoring others. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will just bless her body. Touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Heal them, Lord Jesus, we ask thee. In thy name, Lord. Bless her seed. Bless her seed, Lord. Lord, you say that you will bless our seed. Lord, we thank you right now, Lord. For even those that did not come, did not make it today, Lord, that you will bless them where they are. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Bless Marie, Lord. Bless Carl, Lord. And bless their children, Lord. And in the name of Jesus, Lord. Bless their, their seed, Lord. Just allow that anointing, Lord. Continue to resonate, Lord, in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Give the Lord some praise. Give the Lord some praise. Give the Lord some praise. Amen. Praise it in the name of the Lord. Now we thank you 